This video poster presents a book about Austral Asian tectites, it contains 42 chapters, as well as a dictionary and a reference list. After watching each video poster, you can download relevant chapters for detailed readings using the link in the description below. Similarities between Yasathon soil, Ban the Chang gravel, comminuted gray quartz and the Sila basalt quarry rocks point to a possible relation between the Southeast Asian impact and volcanic eruption of flood basalt in the southern part of Nakhon Ratchasima province in Thailand. Balan quartz, grain with plastic deformation, planar deformation features, a crushed grain with quartz powder between larger pieces, and a grain with planar fractures, from Ban the Chong gravel pit. The Yasathon soil from the Korat Plateau, which is not a soil, but a sediment, contains comminuted quartz of 0.02 to 0.002 mm. It contains glass shards, mini tectites and tectite spalls, carbonized wood and iron spheres, with silt size quartz grains included. Muong Nong tectite from Vientiane, Lao People's Democratic Republic, was covered in silt size quartz grains that also contained glass shards, mini tectites, carbonized wood, and an iron sphere with silt size quartz grains. A comminuted quartz accretion from Ban the Chang. It contains glass shards, mini tectites, carbonized wood and iron spheres with silt size quartz grains. An iron accretion from Ban the Chang, with comminuted quartz grains, and iron spheres with silt size quartz grains included. Similar silt size quartz grains covering Muong Nong tectite from Vientiane. The map shows location where comminuted quartz was found covering splash form and Muong Nong tectites. A splash form tectite from Dalat, the surface covered by comminuted quartz, here brushed off, containing mini tectite in carbonized wood. Compared to comminuted quartz from Muong Nong village irrigation pond in Lao People's Democratic Republic. A splash form tectite from Khan Tum, Vietnam, with comminuted quartz grains, mini tectites, glass shards, and carbonized wood. Ban the Chang chert, showing melted quartz grain embedded in the surface of the quartz matrix. It is 0.1 mm, has a wagely developed impact rim and contains planar deformation features. Iron drop with impact rims and two splashed iron spheres with silt size quartz grains embedded. Quartz grains embedded into bottom side of melted quartz rock. Ban the Chang non homogenized carbonized wood. Carbonized trunks with one side incinerated, bark on the other. Gray silt quartz grains clumps, brown gravel and sulfur. Octahedral magnetite crystals and impact craters in brawn, chert, including impactor grains, dotted with iron spheres. Cosite, colored orange, in core remain and inside froth bubbles, created by high bubble pressure. Froth from outside with partly collapsed bubbles. Milky quartz inside froth and froth without central grain remains. Quartz grain with impact locations, view after cutting. Impactor grain, flattened at the top and crushed at the bottom. A smaller melted crater-like grain to the left, with apparent melt below. Drawing and top view of the flattened impactor grain. Thin section of first image, shows that impactor grains are polished away. Carbonized tree trunks in the band that Chang gravel pit. Incinerated on one side and with bark on the opposite side and the top broken off. Different from wood fire, right image, that burns from the outside, leaving wood in the interior. Middle Pleistocene super eruption of Toba, at 788 plus minus 2.2 thousand years. This time interval overlaps the tectite ages of 789,000 years. There may be a connection between the Southeast Asian impact and the Toba eruption, as volcanic glass is found in sediments with microtectites, far to the east of the volcano. Battered grains, iron accretions, iron drops with small quartz pieces included, glass shards and carbonized wood are found in the Ban the Chang gravel pit. 
The ban of Chang ash of very small grains of quartz, without metal oxide coating, containing spherical iron drops, they themselves with small quartz grains included in carbonized wood, is unexpectedly also found in Yasathan soil and attached to splash form tectites from Dalat and Kantam, and Muong Nong tectites from Muong Nong and Vientian. This indicates a creation at the same time, around an impact, as such a sediment does not occur in the Mekong rivers. South of Nakhon Ratchasima, in Thailand, the impact shockwave battered the sandstone grains, and upon pressure relaxation created a hydrothermal explosion, from evaporated groundwater, expelling the comminuted silt quartz grains into a dust plume, and excavating a transient crater to a depth of 5 kilometers, 20 to 30 kilometers wide, where the Hainan magma plume became exposed, resulting in a phreatic eruption, momentarily releasing the gas pressure from further down. Like chert rocks, Muongnong tectites were also bombarded, leaving impactor grains in their craters. This could have brought small amounts of high-pressure polymorphs, like stishovite and rheodite, to the Muongnong tectites. Clay pool sediments in the Muongnong area were preheated by radiation from the fireball. The fireball created a several hundred kilometer radius viewshed. The area was later cloaked by a thick hot blanket of ejecta, containing the comminuted silt quartz grains, enabling even large muon known tectites to melt by conduction, over a short time, without a temperature gradient. This ejecta layer buried tree trunks in the area, carbonizing them, explaining their attached layers of silt quartz grains. Splash form tectites acquired their comminuted quartz cover upon landing. Later, Evaporated ground water, and water contained in the comet, created a tremendous downpour, making huge debris flow from the mountains encircling the Korat Plateau. In front, this created the low, terrace gravel pits, like Ban the Chang. When the low terrace flow in front stopped by desaturation, the gravel piled up behind, on the mountain side of the Mun and Chi rivers, creating the high terraces. The dust from the cloud continually falling on a now water-filled Korat plateau, created the Yasathan soil, up to 3 meters thick, without graded bedding. The elevation map shows the landscape after flash flooding, behind and over the Nakhon Ratchasima basalt. Leaving sharp eroded edges between the basalt domes. The last footprint was a gravity anomaly around the Nakhon Ratchasima basalt, the probable impact site. Read more in the summary chapter.